What is going on guys, B2B FIFA here and welcome to episode 37 of the Academy Project. And as you can see, we begin this episode by signing a couple players. We actually uh, look at the scout that went to Argentina, he had some decent scouts. The US um, scout report was uh, not too very good, not too very good, or well, however which way you want to put it. But uh, we got two decent players from Japan, we got uh, Akihito right there and Hisashi right here. I mean we jump straight into a little bit of training, Thomas, Bell, Clark, Nemanim and Hall. Um, Hall and Clark do very well in that training session well, this is the team that we are looking at to go straight into the next game against Cheltenham Town we are going to begin with our orange kit they are going to go in with their violet or purple kit whatever you want to call it McNeil psyching himself out he is ready and uh, Cheltenham Town begin the game right here we jump straight into the ninth minute boys and I apologize if you heard that creaking from my seat but right here Cheltenham Town gets a chance in McNeil once again he's doing what McNeil does and uh, that was the one and only opportunity of the first half so we jump straight into the second half boys um, but Cheltenham Town they were in fact the better team um, I didn't have very many opportunities I mean there were some but they were weak chances I didn't want to show those but we jump straight into the 47th minute and, and once again Cheltenham Town has another opportunity they get a shot that fizzes by the post right here we're able to take the ball away it's our boy Leighton who's on the ball. He looks out and he sees Martin. Sends a beautiful over the top to Martin. Martin does a great job to muscle his opponent. Right here does a little uh, ball roll. Gets it over to Larson and Larson doing Larson things. I mean this guy is incredible boys. He puts it into the back of the net so calmly like nothing. I mean he's just so good. Our two first choice cams retired. We threw Larson in there. Larson did a job. It's the 74th minute and he's really tired so I'm going to go ahead and give him some um, some rest. Actually no, I lied. So our first uh, our first, uh, first team, our first choice um, cams were not tired. As a matter of fact, I think I threw Larson in there because I was putting a B team in there and I didn't want to put Shaw in there because I wanted him to be ready to go for when we had our first um, actual like A team on the field in another game which is more important right here they get another opportunity but it's a 90th minute boys and that is how this half is going to end this half this game is going to end um i apologize i am all over the place today but yeah we win that game very happy with the result we jump straight into the next game and right here you can see that i'm putting my 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 a team basically sib kren kinezevic suck uh sanchez clark clark has has essentially he earned his first uh his first team spot already he's moved Toshev off the squad and uh we jump into the game against Akerton Stanley a team that is doing very well in the league they are fighting for promotion in those playoff positions they are as you can see they're fourth they're doing very well we're still 10 points ahead of them that doesn't mean we're uh we're a lot better than them but they are they are a very good team so we jump straight into the game and Akrington Stanley actually kicks off right there in the second minute. We have the ball. Our boy Sook gets it over to Kren. Kren gets it over to Clark. Clark takes a shot and their keeper was able to uh, keep that out. But right here we jump straight into the 45th minute where the first half ends. That was the only true opportunity of the first half. Very similar to the first game we had. But we jump straight into the second half boys. And right here, we are on the ball, and we jump straight into the 55th minute. Akrington Stanley is on the ball. They are going down the wings. They're doing some work right there. Morales almost put it into the back of his own net, and uh, we are able to clear eventually. But once again, in the 61st minute, Akrington Stanley on the ball. They get another shot, and our boy McNeil is uh, able to get that out so very lucky that they didn't score right there But it's the 66 minute and we get our first opportunity of the game We get it over to our boy Kren who stops sees the run of Sanchez Sanchez stops and sees that he's got a little space tries to finesse it But the keeper does really well to keep it out and uh, We jump straight into the 79th minute boys and uh, Sook is really tired, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. Our boy Shaw is gonna go in, and I'm looking at some other changes, and I'm looking at Anderson. Anderson goes in for Clark, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Larson or Martin 
um, goes in for Kenizevic. I'm pretty sure that happens. Come on. There it is. So Morant goes in for Kenizevic. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that because he was a bit tired. But it's the 84th minute, boys. And Akronton Stanley get the ball away from us right there. Silly giveaway right there. Davies is on the ball. He sees McCorn uh, McCornado or whatever that game is. That guy's name is, and he puts it into the back of the net. It's the 85th minute, and we're losing to Akron and Stanley, boys. It's the 90th minute. We're fighting for possession right here. Shaw is on the ball. He sees Sanchez. Sanchez is looking for something, and he sees right here the run of Martin. Martin is able to put it into the back of the net. Low driven, very weak shot. Doesn't matter. Who cares? 1-1. Game on, right? Uh, No, because this is the 90th minute, and the game is over, essentially. But that's how that game is going to end, boys. I mean, nothing much happens after this. Right there, you can see it ends. We uh, draw the game 1-1. Essentially, what we're doing here is we're keeping Akron Stanley away from third place, away from automatic promotion positions. We don't want them in League 1. We, uh, we struggle against this team, so we don't want them in League 1. Another team that we struggle against, ain't nobody got time for that. But uh, as you can see right here, we had some decent chances. They had some decent chances. Very even game. We slightly edged it. I, I think that's the only reason we deserve the game. But you can see right here um, that they... That they. <laughs> I apologize for that. But you can see right here that I don't know why that took so long. Anyways, we move straight into a little bit of training. And uh, yeah, Ishinori... Ishinomori, I'm sorry. Um, he's a player that we brought up. I think you guys already saw that in the last game, training him up because uh, he is going to be vital, in my opinion, for next season. Because at this point, I think we're pretty safe. If, if I'm not mistaken, in this game or in the Akronton Stanley game, they said if we were able to at least get a tie, we could secure promotion. And uh, we, we uh, move straight into the game against Doncaster. And uh, Doncaster is another good team right here. We jump straight into the 24th minute. Kenizevic does a little ball roll right here. He gets taken down in the box. And Cedric Evina, I've heard this guy's name a couple times. I don't know if he was Premier League or, or he's on loan. I don't know, but I've heard this guy's name a couple times. But he takes down uh, Kenizevic and Kryn steps up for the penalty. And what is going to happen? He puts it into the back of the net. That was a weak penalty. Um, I don't know. I think if the keeper just would have stayed in the middle, he would have uh, he would have kept that out. But right there, Sip is celebrating his 19th league goal. Sanchez right here in the 27th minute on the ball. He gets it over to Suk. Suk is looking out and he sees the run of Sip. Sip is on the ball. He uh, sees the run of Kren and Kren can't put it into the back of the net. But we were attacking, boys. We were the definitely the better team in this game but it's the 29th minute and we have a corner right here and Kenizevic is taking it Charles jumps up above everybody just towers over everyone and gets a header but Avina right here gets it over to Houghton or Houghton or, but McCullough right there to Norsen back to Houghton and Marquise to Houghton and Houghton right here is on the ball and I believe he takes a shot right there yes he does and that does not go very far but it's the 45th minute, boys. That's the only opportunity they had. And uh, we end the half winning 1-0. But right here, Doncaster kick off and uh, jump straight into the 65th minute. Morales is on the ball. He gets it over to Clark. And uh, Clark is trying to find something. He can't find anything. He sends it to Morales. Morales sends it to Sip. Sip sends it to Kren. Kren does a little fake shot in. He sees Morales and Morales puts it into the back of the net after hitting the post. And uh, yeah, Martin Morales, our left back, our first choice left back. I think he opens his account. That's his first goal for the for the team. So congrats to you, my friend. Thank you for all your services. You've been amazing, and you finally get your reward. But it's the 71st minute, boys, and Doncaster's moving the ball around. Very, very nice. He's right here. Uh, Houghton right there gets it over to Cedric Avina and Cedric Avina's pacey little son of a gun he goes ahead and centers and uh, Joao right there isn't able to put it into the back of the net but right here we're able to defend and our boy Suk gets it over to um, the winger right there and Nilo gets it over to Clark Clark right here gets it over to Sip Sip gets it over to Kren 
and Krenn is looking for something. He sees the run of Sip, and Sip is on the wing. Sip is running, and he does a little stop and turn right here, and then he sees Krenn right there open. Krenn is able to finesse a top corner into the back of the net, and yes, our boy Krenn scores his second goal of this game, and that his tally now in League 2 is 20 goals. That is not too shabby. Very happy with the guy. Very impressed with his performance this season. Last season, he was terrible. Until the end, he became a little better in the end. But that is how that game is going to end, boys. We completely destroyed Doncaster 3-0. Very happy with the team. Very happy with Kren, with Sip, with Suk, with Sanchez, with Morales, with everyone on the team they perform very very nicely yes boys very happy with our progression and at this point we are 100 percent promoted i believe that is what they are saying the commentators saying i can't remember right now but anyways boys that is where i'm going to leave this episode if you guys went ahead and enjoyed episode 37 of the academy project go ahead and leave a big old thumbs up big old like and uh, go ahead and subscribe as well and you guys have an awesome day peace